Are we are we past Mark Andre Fleury? Is that over? Can I can I say on the Real Kipper and Bourne show? No. The three of us are on the same page that that's not happening. No. I would like it to happen, but I don't think it will. I'm. I'm. Head says you've yeah. convinced Head me says, it's possible because yeah. the, the, you've talked me into the price not being that yes, high. So if it's a high. mid rounder, it's like well, maybe at that point. One more spin on that whole thing, and you tell me if we'll this doesn't. We'll talk about last night's game it, at some if point. If it I doesn't promise. come into play, is that you bring in Mark Andre Fleury? Mm-hmm. Now you've really pissed off Jack Campbell because he's lost his net. Mm-hmm. You've pushed Peter Morazic up into the stands. Right. <laughs> and by chance, Mark Andre Fleury comes in, hey, wins a round, loses in the second round. You're going into next September and you Not in a don't good have position. Jack Campbell. <laughs> yeah. You don't you still you have, have Mrazic and he hates you. He, he hates you. <laughs> And he wants out like yesterday. And Flurry's like, I'm off to Pittsburgh. And Flurry's <laughs> going to back up for the Pittsburgh Penguins next year. Yeah. Like, and now and you're like, our duo is, and, and and you don't have five million dollars to give a starter. But what you haven't considered is that Eric Schalgren is the greatest goaltender on earth, who's not in the NHL, and he's going to be your starter, and he's going to be awesome. Yeah. No. You no. Know? Okay. No one? We're going to get into this? Well, yeah, 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 yeah. go. You don't care. I you wa- don't care? I, I watched Shulgren last night again, and yeah, sure. Well, how many saves? 35 saves? Looks like he's in position. McKenna nailed him between the eyes. Great positionally, horrible hands. Everything, yeah, everything's, everything's jumping off yes. from the rebound control. Like, there's going to be one of these games here where six or seven go in. Yes. Like, I, I'm, I've I, noticed I'm the same for, thing. I'm Even happy catching for him. a puck. I'm happy for them, but this is not going to last. The Leafs have been the best they've been this season at clearing the net in terms of tips, pucks, rebounds around him. Like, he's made a save, and they've moved on. He made a couple big saves. I've really enjoyed how he's played so far. You mentioned it was a nice change of seeing someone big, positional, get in the way. He's been that. Exactly that. Been good. But midnight's midnight's (laughs) going to strike here. We expect there is a pumpkin Uh, eventually in the future. All right, where do you want to get started on the whole thing with uh, with Olshaw? You want to hear him on Eric Shalgren, Shelgren before we get into it? Yeah, let's uh, let's go to uh, Kipper's Clippers here. Well, first okay. one with uh, Sheldon Keefe. You you would think it would be natural for him to get caught up in it and be overly excited. Uh, I'm not sure if I've seen him smile yet. <laughs> um, so, but I, I, like we talked about, I think that just speaks to his his demeanor, and I think all of that plays into how this has gone for him. He's uh, he's not getting eaten up by the moment and the opportunity. He, I think, he's confident in himself, feels as always prepared, <clears throat> and he's just trusting his abilities. That's what I see. So, it's been great. He's been even keel all the way through this, and. As you know, it's not easy to do, and it's it's even more difficult in this city. Two home games, and you know all of that. So uh, it's been impressive. He really described ninety nine percent of the Swedes in general. Didn't he? I thought the exact same thing. I was like, "Well, he's Swedish." Swedish. That's, it doesn't that's get what, too high, no. too low, pretty. No, yeah. everyone I played with, it'd be like calm, cool, collective. Yeah, and it's like ah, oh, my uncle died. Don't don't uh, really. Also, I won the lottery. Anyway, go don't on really lunch. need much attention. <laughs> you won't be getting. Uh, you won't be seeing me shovel my front uh, on Instagram. <laughs> no, no, I Just don't think going so. Going about your day to day. Not that I type really of guy. I really love Swedes. They're they're wonderful teammates. So yeah, he he sounds like you know. I, I talked to some people with the Marlies. Um, you know, got some some good reviews on the guy. Basically, sounds like he's a goalie robot. Doesn't get distracted. Loves coming to the rink. Prepares himself mentally and physical physically. Just steady Eddie, which is the opposite of Mrazek and Campbell. Who Campbell, you know, in his post game pressers has been very dramatic about himself and his terrible play. Mrazek has seemed indifferent or he doesn't even care. This guy seems like he's just, as you mentioned. Goldilocks. Swedish about it. He's and Goldilocks. Goldilocks. <laughs> one's too hot. The other one's too cold. Yeah. This one may come in just right. Yeah. So you don't think he's going to... Is there any chance that they've got something here? Like a guy you can actually have be your starting goalie? They got enough of it going to go into Nashville. So let's just leave it but, there. Uh, 
Out of the 100% chance he starts game one of the playoffs, what percentage chance is Shelgren, by the way, not Shelgren, Shelgren, I'm told by our chat on YouTube. What percent, ch- percent is it that he's the starter in game one of the playoffs? 50%? Right now? Yeah. Oh, Nine? I've got him at uh, 10. 10. 10% chance. Yes. Zero. You got a zero yeah. from no. the No. The guys could get hurt again. They could <laughs> slip on a banana peel. I guess that's the only, but there's, you just, no. I can see them talking themselves in. So, I boy. don't know if you guys saw, but boy, um, oh boy. <laughs> uh, Wall got hurt in the Marley yeah. game. Mm-hmm. So he got run over. I wonder if they have to get a goalie now, whether, you know, a Forsberg type who can push yeah, someone down. Th- th- there's a feeling he might be out a while. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I think he hurt his shoulder. And uh, they called up, uh, was there uh, growl- growlers? Yeah. Yeah, they, they called up a goalie there. Okay. So, so they, I mean, there, there is the a ripple rings. effect there a little bit. Yeah, you do wonder if there is some interest in saying, hey, maybe it's not a guy who will back up the the Leafs, but it's a guy who will be with the Marlies, and if they need him, if Mrazek's no good, we can at least put this guy in as a backup. But isn't Shelgren kind of that right now? Anyway. Um, two, two, uh, are we good? Good. I was just going to say 200 feet away from... Shelgren, yes, is Sammy's favorite, Freddie Anderson, and I'm just wondering when you saw that goal go in on the short side, didn't that just reaffirm how you feel about him, Sammy? Yes, it was just I thought that the Carolina Hurricanes were playing that first period. They are so disciplined. They are so well coached. They're just in the right spots on every part of the ice. Yeah, they're uh, above they're the, everyone. There's the no four room. check. They they four check trap and play great in the defensive zones. Like I don't know how there are so many guys everywhere. And I thought they were playing great. They were beating the Leafs pretty handily in the first ten minutes, and then that goal goes in, and then it just changes. I'm like, oh, I've seen this movie before. Mm-hmm. But that goal that Freddie let in, he's I guess he was cheating to the pass. I don't know what he was doing. He leaves his post wide open. I don't know. Like I don't want to. Yeah, you're it, not. 41 and 13 by accident here. No, they are really good. They're, they're really good well coached. Yeah. They got so many guys that contribute. That 